In the first part of lecture number four, we looked at permutation. And we said a permutation of k objects from n objects is an ordered sequence of k objects selected from a pool of n without replacement. But in this lecture, we're going to look at combinations instead of permutations. And again, I'm going to use an example to illustrate what we mean by combinations. A simple example. Let's say we have four students. And we would like to send two of them. Or we would like to select two of them to attend a conference. So select two from four. For simplicity, let's say we have person A, person B, person C, and person D. So I could select A and B to attend the conference, or I could select person A and person C to attend the conference, A and D, B and C, C and D, and what else? B and D. So I have six possible ways of selecting two students from four students. What you notice here is that selecting A first followed by B is the same as selecting B first followed by A. This was not the case for permutations. In permutations we had person A coming in first followed by person B coming in second is a different ordering from person B coming in first and person A coming in second. But in combinations, order does not matter. Okay? And the notation we use for combinations is n choose k. This is if we would like to select k objects from a pool of n objects without regard to order as n choose k. And the notation which is often used actually is n c k which is given by n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. Let me extend this example that I gave you first. Now instead of four students, maybe I have 24 students in a classroom, and of which I would like to select six to attend a conference. Select six at random to attend a conference. And how many ways can I choose six students from 24 students? I can find that by calculating 24 choose 6. If you like this notation, you can use it, 24c6. And that is equal to 24 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 24 minus 6 factorial. 24 minus 6 is 18. 24 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 18 factorial is equal to 1, 3, 4, 5, 9, 6. 134,596 possible ways of selecting 6 students at random from 24 students. Okay. Again, let's say I have 24 students. I still want to select 6 to attend the conference. But now I am given more information. Of the 24 students, let's say 10 of them are engineering students. Eight of them are maybe computer science students. And the rest, that would be six, are math students. Now the question is, in how many ways can I select six students in the following way, I want to make sure I have two 
students from engineering, two students from computer science, and two students from math. That is, two from each major. And how many ways can I do that? So I can define event A to be the event of selecting two from each major. So the number of ways this event can happen, the number of ways I could select two students from each major and combined I could have six in total is the following. You can think of this as an experiment which is done in stages or in sequences. In the first stage, stage one, you select two from engineering students. That's from ten. In the second stage, you select two from computer science students. That is two from eight. And the third stage, you select two from math students. 2 from 6. The number of ways of choosing 2 students from 10 engineering students is 10 choose 2. The number of ways of choosing 2 from 8 is 8 choose 2. And the number of ways of choosing 2 from 6 is 6 choose 2. By multiplication rule of counting, if I have an experiment done in sequences and each sequence has a given number of ways that it could be done then the number of ways that event could happen the number of ways that A could happen is 10 choose 2 multiplied by 8 choose 2 multiplied by 6 choose 2 but I could also ask you what is the probability of what was event A? The probability of selecting two students from each major. That is probability of A. Probability of A is the number of elements in the event A divided by the number of elements in my sample space. We have seen that the number of elements in the event A is 10 choose 2 multiplied by 8 choose 2 multiplied by 6 choose 2. The number of elements in the sample space, the sample space of this experiment is you're just selecting 6 students from a pool of 24 students. So you're simply selecting 6 students randomly from 24, that is 24 choose 6, which we have found right here. Okay, so the answer to this question is the numerator, if you solve it, would be equal to 18,900. And the denominator, which we have found, would be equal to 134,596, which gives a value equal to 0 0.14. Zero four two. So this is just to give you a flavor of what combination is and to give you an example.